Okay, we're on uh, 9.3 County Code Enforcement, uh, abatement of public nuisance, grading without a permit. Seems to be a broken record here in the county. CB 7-8925, this is uh, in the third district. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven speakers. Ron Carlton, followed by Mary Bush, will be followed by Brian Heppinger. Is Ron Carlton here? Aye. Ready? Yes, sir. We're ready for you. Good morning, sir. Members of the board, good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, this is concerning the Champions residence on Batista Canyon Road. They've had a problem with the uh, code enforcement in the past. Uh, I've known the Champions for over 14 years, find them to be honest and honorable people, hardworking. Um, I joined the Champions and when they went out to look at this property uh, before 2002, 2003, somewhere in there, uh, it was obvious that it was a horse working ranch, a breeding ranch. Uh, the question in proper, the, the, the piece of property in question happens to be a horse riding rink, a horse riding green boak area, and uh, all the things that they were written up for on this illegal grading was done by the previous owners. All that was graded that I saw with my own eyes was done before the property was purchased. So. Uh, I don't know where they got their geology report or their grading report, but I, for one, saw this myself, and I will swear to it under oath. Thank you for your time. Good Thank morning. you, Mr. Carlton. I appreciate you coming down. Uh, Mary Bush will be followed by Brian Heppinger, followed by uh, G.C. Indiana Golub. Chairman. Yes. Uh, Mary Bush and Brian Heppinger have given their time to Janice Champion. Mary Bush and Mr. Heppinger mm -hmm. have given their time to Janice Champion, so she has a total of nine minutes. Janice Champion, good morning. You have nine minutes. Good morning, Board of Supervisors. My name is Janice Champion, and with my husband, George, and son, Chris, we live on 46601 Batista Roads on the outskirts of Hemet. I am, addressing, I am here to address a code violation for illegal grading. We have been trying to get help and assistance from the county for several years. Each and every time we have been given what we feel is truly a lot of I don't know and we'll get back to you. Our land has a usually dry creek bed that runs through the property for approximately three quarters of a mile. On January 11, 2005, the creek bed turned into a raging river spanning over 50 foot wide and over eight foot deep, stranding us on the property for over three days, destroying portions of the dike and taking much property with it as it spilled over its banks. I would like to ask the board's permission to show some slides of the flood at this time. Um, I also have a picture. You can put it up right there on the Elmo, just like you're looking at it, put it face down. Well, there we are. Okay. Um, I was told by a friend to contact FEMA as they said they believed that they could help and that the disaster program was only lasting for another week. This is in March of 2005. They sent an inspector over who declared it a disaster in an emergency situation. He told me I needed to do whatever necessary to try to prevent this from happening again. I have this documented as well. I did research on what it was at that time I might be able to do to prevent this from happening again. I found that installing a detention basin on the side of the creek would help. After many attempts of trying to find out from the county what, if anything, I needed to begin my basin and get no answers, I contacted a friend of ours that is a geologist, Mr. Jim Flowers, and he offered his help in trying to get the information from the county 
since he had dealt with similar situations with San Diego County. He requested the help of Mr. Michael Wheeler, who is a civil engineer. Between both of them, they were not getting answers, but rather sent from planning department to building and safety to flood control, each department claiming it was not their issue. After several months, they threw up their hands and informed me they didn't think Riverside County knew what to do with us. Mr. Flowers told me that he would send his list of people from the county that he had spoken with. I then continued on my own to try to get answers to no avail. I then did some research on protecting private property from flooding and came across what is called the Common Enemy Doctrine and the Common Use Doctrine. In this doctrine, it states that a private property owner has the right to do whatever necessary to protect his or her property from flooding without negligence to the downstream property owners. Since we first purchased the property in 2003, I have had dreams to install ponds and have an aquaculture business. Without a detention basin, this will not be possible as another flood like the one of 2005 would wipe out the investment. I wish that the county would have taken the time to listen and assist me in this matter so I would not be in this situation. I am now facing a BHR, which I am told by Mr. Hector Veray is my punishment for starting my project without approval. As you will see, I did try time and time again. Code Officer Carol Forey saw my attempts and stated to me, I can see you have gotten nothing but the runaround from the county. So I am asking you as the Board of Supervisors why I should be punished. I also want to state for the record that I am being falsely accused of removing 3,700 yards of material from a hillside, which is like that when I purchased the property back in 2003. I have several people here that will attest to that fact. Our goals are extremely simple. One, protect and enhance our properties so that future floodwaters are properly managed, and two, eventually we would like to do aquaculture as a business, and we would like now to proceed with the county's advice and assistance towards meeting this result. Again, we do not feel a citation is warranted in so much as we have been diligent with our request and that it took action on our part with all due respect again to get the attention of the county. We know you are elected to assist us and respectfully again re request that you please now help us to resolve this. Ms. Champion, um, you're absolutely right. We are, we are here to assist and we are here to protect the public. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most flagrant grading violations that I've seen in the five years that I've been in public mm -hmm. office here in Riverside County. It is alleged, and I'm going to have Mr. Black comment in a couple of minutes here, that 6,216 cubic yards of this dirt's been moved, I, I'm saying alleged mm -hmm. this time, which equates to, and some mm -hmm. people have to see it this way, mm -hmm. 141 school buses of dirt was illegally moved. In, a, in addition to that, I am being told, again, this is alleged until I hear a little bit more from Mr. Black, that you did some rock sifting uh, uh, for minerals um, on the site as well. We did sift rock. Right. Did you sell the rock? And did you, were you no, mining for rock? No. What we were doing is we have a trommel that we had the opportunity to buy while we were thinking of putting this basin in. Right. And we are going to need the rock for the basin. Okay. So, so how, how, much, how much land did you excavate to get the rock to sift? We, probably, we didn't excavate that. That is mm -hmm. what they are telling us, 3,700 yards. In fact, when the code enforcer people were there, I asked them why they were measuring that. Right. We had 60 cords of wood dumped there when we first purchased the property that was flat. When did you acquire the property? We purchased the property in 2003. And it, when we first purchased it, we had to take down a riding arena. It was a training arena. So how much, how much grading would you say is attributable to you during your ownership we, of the property? We have no um, qualm with what they um, said of the basin area. That is what... Um, how the, much dirt did you move, would you say? I, I, your I believe it was like 1,070 cubic yards. Which is still significant. Yes. 
Were you I'm told? not denying were, were that. Were you told? Did you know that you were supposed to get a permit? Were you, no, did, not really. Did you inquire? Did somebody? Did yes. You, did, you have, did you do the grading yourself, or did you have a professional contractor do it? No, no, we've done it ourselves. Yeah, and like yes, that. I do have records that I can pull out of all the attempts made, and even to this day, I mean, I'm not. All I wanted was help. When, 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 were you, when were you first notified by the county? You bought it in 2003. When were you first notified that we had some grading issues on your property? I believe it was in November of 2007. Okay. That's the first notice that you got that there was I a, believe so. Via written correspondence or code enforcement mm -hmm. officers? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, and, thank you and for coming. Really, today. like I said, Absolutely. I just want to try to resolve it. Okay. We're thank you. Thank you.